forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, to, you know, kind of counter the abortion ban that's going on in Alabama. Alabama and the Democrats, I believe, hopefully I'm right, I'll link an article in the description, are trying to uh, propose a new deal where, or bill, and pass it, where men that are 50 years old of age in, in Alabama have to go uh, get a mandatory visectomy at their own expense. So let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check our current news playlist for more videos like this. And like I said before, you know, um, the whole feminist movement is just, you know, it's crazy. They want equality and they want us to, every time they feel pain, they want they want to bring men down with us, with them. You know what I'm saying? And every time we feel pain, we just got to stay shut up and go. At the end of the day, you know, it is a woman's right when to take when to create a life, and you know, if she don't want to carry a baby, you know. But that starts in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That starts with a. Hey, if you don't want a kid, get your tubes tied. You know what I'm saying? It's plain and simple. So. To tell a man that he is forced to get a vasectomy at 50 uh, because they they making they limiting an abortions, no. I will I wouldn't go through with that. That can't that that can't that can't be right. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me what I would do in my body in my body at 50 because they putting a a, a, a a ban on abortions. At the end of the day, keep your legs closed and get your tools tied. You know, but this part of that feminist movement, man, y'all see how they emasculate not only the black men, they emasculating the, the men in general. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to pay attention to. You know, all these dudes wearing ankle bracelets and getting thigh tattoos. The, and you see Dwayne Wade wearing leggings and all these wearing purses and fanny packs. It's all on an agenda and they pushing it, you know, and it's it's, it's partially you know, the last couple of generations before us fought, man, for a lot of the fathers walking around, walking out on the mothers. You know what I'm saying? But like Tupac said, you can't tell a woman when uh, when to create a life and when you can't. That's her. That's just her. You know, she want to keep the baby having babies or she want to get an abortion. That's on her. You know what I'm saying? They kill me with, with caring about, you know, babies lives or people lives or, you know, but they killing us in the street. I'm not against abortions. That's if you don't want to take care of it. You know, obviously you should, you know, keep your legs closed. But if you if you don't want it, you want to get an abortion. That's your prerogative. That's your body. You know, they want to act like they care care for us. It's all about it's all about some other hidden, hidden agenda. Like, you got to wear this safety belt. You know, like they care about you. Oh, if you don't wear this safety belt, it's a $120 ticket. You know, what do you care if I die in a crash or not? Because if I go to the hospital and, you, and I tell them I don't have medical insurance, they're going to ship me to the, to the worst hospital they got. And I'm not going to get the best care. It's doctors all the time. I see cancer in, in your grandma, cancer in your kid, and they don't say nothing because of the type of insurance you got. So don't think, don't act like you care about us now because you don't. And I'm not speaking on just the black people. I'm speaking on all people. They don't care. So the abortion law in general is stupid. It's stupid. Stop killing innocent people. I seen innocent, all types of innocent people, you know, get, get killed by cops and killed by stupid stuff they poisoning the water and, and, and all this other they don't care about us so don't play the role like you care it's just financially beneficial to you you know and for any woman that that's going along with this man you part of the problem and if you have a son at home and you raise your son without a man in the house you probably polluting and poisoning his mind this is why we getting that stuff that's going on with Dwayne Wade and his son because a woman can't raise a man she can help raise a man but she can't raise a man to the fullest extent, you still need that father figure there. The showing woman, that's why boys don't know how to change tires no more, and they don't know how to change oil no more. They don't know how to do basic stuff. That's why it's important for you to take care of your kid and not have that Negro or that ignorant mentality on when not to take care of your kid. But to try to force a man to get advice to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to play the role where, you know, oh, they should force women to get the tubes tied or, you know, you know, I can easily play that. But it's your prerogative. Now, when the government gets to telling you what you can and can't do to your body, then we got a problem. You seen up in last year, was that last year, two years ago, in Wisconsin, a company in Wisconsin made their employees get chips in, chips in their body 
so they can, you know, log in and, and log out of, out of the building and take, keep track of them? Hell no. And they putting chips over in, over in Europe and kids' body and all that? Now y'all seeing the mark of the beast, if you believe in the Bible. Now you see in the market of beast. Now they trying to control us. Each step of the way, they trying to control you. That's why they going to Cairo Cripsy, Cairo Currency, excuse me. That's why they going to that. Because, you know, they can track every little thing you do digitally. Everything you do, they can track it digitally. That's why they going, that's why they going to go, everything going to be debit. So you can't put that money away. So you can't stash that money in the wall no more. By the time, by the time a, a couple generations come, when we did, for sure, maybe by the time we older cash is going to be gone this is all the beginning stages of losing control there's going to be one uh, uh global power and it's already like that but like i said before it's going to be one global power out here that's going to run everything and tell everybody what to do everybody's going to be eating that fake tofu vegan type food type stuff and like i said like i, like I keep saying man you can't tell nobody to do with their body, but once they try to, they, they, they start passing laws and force you to do it, y'all gonna open your eyes and see what's really going on here, man. But it's, it's, it's crazy, man. No way, no how. Should a woman have to get her tools tied? Should a woman have to get an abortion? And somebody have to get a, a man have to get a vasectomy? You know what I'm saying? By no bill. That is your prerogative. That is your body, especially if they trying to make you pay for it. If you got if you got raped and, 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 and you don't want to keep the child, that's your prerogative. If you have a child that was a mistake, you want to keep it. That's your prerogative. Don't give me that. Oh, you can't take a life. Government take lives every day. Be go innocent lives. Don't give me that. Y'all got family members who killing people over iPhones and Timberland boots and Jordans and don't give me that. Like y'all value y'all value human life. Humans don't value human life. Life like no, they don't. So don't give me that about. Oh, I care if you live or you die. And no, you don't. When we get shot in the street and y'all we shooting each other in the street and we killing each other over over stupid pointless stuff that you can move on from. So don't give me that old pro-life thing. No, you're not. Every time I turn on the news and that's every, that's once in a blue moon, it might be a football game, basketball game, come off, go off. And it's the same thing. Shot, shot over dispute at the gas station. Shot because he stepped on somebody's shoes. Bumped in the club. Somebody just got three people got shot at Candy Club, Candy Burris Club in Atlanta over probably nothing. Shooting people over over wives, shooting people over cars, shooting people over car crashes. You know what I'm saying? Get, get out of here with your all value life. No, you don't. But when you start letting the government tell you what to do, and I'm not even a political person, when you start letting the government dictate what you do to your body, you might as well you might as well hang it up. You know, you might as well hang it up. So that's that's the true port importance of it. It's not shouldn't be a feminist versus male thing. That's the real true importance of it. But really what it boiled down to for women pushing it, if we got to do it, we got to make the man suffer too. That's what it boiled down to. And it can't be like that. They so scorned and hurt by men. They trying to be the, the equal, equal. They trying to be the equal of the male. But they don't really want to be the equal. They won't select. They won't select equalism. If that's a fucking word. They want to be selective. Oh, I can't pick up this bag at work or this 50 pound box. Hey, Bobby, could you pick it up for me? No, you want to be, you want to be equal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you know, could you pay half my rent, my phone? No, no, you want to be equal. You want to be equal. You know what I'm saying? As we killing me, you want to be equal. Never forget it. You want to be equal. They always want to be selective equality, man. That's the word I was looking for. Selective equality. Oh, well, you know, uh, uh, boys take out the trash, girls don't. No, you want equality. You want you want equality. They want equal pay for the WNBA. Oh, we can play football too. You get out there, I'm gonna knock your ass on the ground too. I'm gonna treat you, and you treat a woman like a male. Oh my God, I'm mortified. You want equality? You want to act like a male? You want to be treated like a male? You gonna get you gonna get dealt with like a male, and depending on what field you in. That's why I hate when women try to say, hang out like the WNBA did here. Said, oh, he ain't that good. How you make that much money? That whole movement is becoming nasty, ugly, and they turn everything into a feminist versus male movement, man. Everything they turn into it. But for, to ask anybody to get abortion, again, if they want to get abortion, I'm I'm pro. Do whatever you want to. It's your body. They don't value our, our body. And to make a man get a vasectomy at 50, you nuts. And to make somebody tie their tubes, you nuts. 
It's your body. You do what you want to do to it. And if they starting to dictate what people do to their bodies, well, we need to go ahead and get up out of here and move to Canada or something like that. Because it's your prerogative. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, require response, share video requests, keep sharing the videos. Uh, we'll make a donation, PayPal, Cash App in the description. And uh, I'll link some articles in the description so you can check it out for yourself. The law they're trying to pass um, in Alabama. And then if they're cracking Alabama, you know, never know how far it can extend out to. But uh, don't forget, check our uh, sponsor, The Health Blaze, man. 100% all natural products from lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, moisturizer bars. The whole nine is really, really good, especially if you break out with dry skin and eczema. Um, it cleared that right on up. It's one of the best things out there, 100% organic. Use my promo code goodfellow one box to get 18% off the 100% all natural products. Much love and support. Let me know what you guys think um, in the description. Peace.